first participant in this match from Houston, Texas, Chopin! I gotta tell you, Mike, personally, this is a hard match for me because of what both of these women have meant to the Main Event Mafia. I mean, you look at Charmel, she's the first lady of the Main Event Mafia. I mean, she is gorgeous. I always say she dresses like a James Bond woman. I mean, she looks like she get right into the film. But you think about what Jenna's done, too, in her own right, about, about the work and her, her money and how they're able to use that to, to bring in Samoa Joe to the fold. But it's one of those situations where you just gotta sit back, call what you see, because it's just a little mixed emotions on this one. Representing the corner of Jenna this match, she is Osu Kong! The former TNA knockout champion, Awesome Kong, making her way down to ringside. Jenna Morosk has got all those millions from both her investments as well as the Survivor Amazon TV show. And she got the dominant force when it comes to the knockouts to work with her, to train her, and to be in her corner in anticipation of this Main Event Mafia versus Main Event Mafia match. I will, I will survive. And Charmel's opponent in this contest from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Jenna Bulaska! Well, I know you are torn because of the allegiance to the main event mafia that you have, and I think it's, it's really an interesting dichotomy between Jenna and Charmel. You talked earlier about Charmel. I mean, she's been a part of the wrestling business, her association with, with Booker T for years, and many people would say... Are you okay, Don? I'm just trying to figure out who gets the camera shot there. How do they, how do they figure out who's gonna get that camera shot? Do they draw straws? Do they flip coins? Is it one on a drinking game? I mean, come on. Who gets the shot? But as I look at Awesome Kong, I will say Can this. Can I get back to my interesting dichotomy? Oh, please do. <laughs> the fact that you can use dichotomy is great. The fact that Charmel has been in the wrestling business. That dichotomy that we were looking at there. That's what I thought it was. She almost has everything to lose in this match is what I'm trying to get to at the same time. Jenna Morosk is pretty much the opposite of Charmel. She bought her way into the main event mafia. She's got that confidence and Awesome Kong. And you wonder, really, after this match, how the main event mafia is going to look at both of these ladies. One thing I will respect uh, that Jenna Morosca did is going out and getting off the call. I mean, if you're going to have someone in your corner, good call. Yeah, pretty, good choice. Pretty tough to do better than Awesome Kong. And Charmel and Jenna going to square off. And Charmel with the knee right in the midsection. You know, on a serious note here, Mike, and I mean this, one, one thing that's missing out here when you look at Charmel, one person that you know wants to be out here more than anybody in the world, and that's Booker T. And that shows you how important those tag team titles are to Booker T and Scott Steiner because he has no choice but to be back in the back concentrating on what's coming up later tonight. Yeah, and at the same time, the potential that Booker T and Scott Steiner, this could be their last night in TNA. Think about that. That shows you how important it is because of the law that was laid down by Kurt Angle earlier. Well, speaking of Booker T, Charmel obviously showing the what she's learned from, from being married to a man who's held so many championships that she's taking control of this match here from the start. I like how she comes out here in the dress, too. I mean, that's class. That's exotic. That's Charmel. I'm not rooting for anybody here, I'm just saying. Pretty cool. Charmel with the first pin attempt here on Jenna. Not able to put her away and goes down for a little bit of a conference at ringside with Sojo. Sojo and Revolt not only cheering her on, but maybe giving her some strategy as well. Jenna's in trouble at this point. And I don't think she's dealt with anything like this at Survivor. I mean, this is just a beatdown right now. Let's see, we'll see how tough she is. We know she is because you can't you can't make it through week after week like she did. But camel clutch submission hold applied, cranking back on the head, the neck of Jenna Maroska. and boy, you can just tell the confidence level rising here. Pretty cocky look on the face of Charmel. We saw that close-up look, almost a concerned look on the face of, of Awesome Kong. Cross-body block attempt 
by Jenner right into the pin and a two count from referee Earl Hebner. Situation where she caught Charmel by surprise coming off those ropes. Both these gals just, you know, it was one of those things where it was just inevitable. And that's what you gotta admire this, put it in the ring. Let them work it out that way. They couldn't get along. They couldn't see eye to eye. It just had to happen. Charmel paint brushing Jenna and then standing on her hair as she lifts her up and just continues what has been a beat down right from the opening bell. Holy cow. If I'm Jenna, I'd grab some of those millions I've made and, and pay her off right now. Say, I'm done. I'll tell you what though, she's tough. She's taking it. And Charmel right back to the offensive. Oh, nice job right there. Jenna answers. I'm gonna go with an offensive move and try and shoot her across into the ropes. The quick reversal and you see the outside interference from Sojo Bull. Well, here comes Cohen gonna go over there and take it out on Sojo. <laughs> Look at her just slide out of that ring and go ahead and try to get control. And now you see the double team on Jenna. Sojo helps out. Charmel rolls Jenna over and goes for the pin. Not able to put her away. You see the frustration from Charmel here, unhappy with referee Hebner. I'll tell you what, Kong looks a little agitated over there. She's somebody that won't forget something like that. But how about Jenna fighting back, getting the shoulder up? Taking the double team action from both of them and showing she's got no quit. Trying to fight back out of the corner, gets the boot up, but well, Charmel has had much of the offense in this match and continues that time. A slap, a shot in the corner. Always felt like she had the slight advantage just by being in this business for 10 years, but now you see Jenna just paint rushing, trying to fight back, giving her a little bit of her own medicine. Yeah, open hand slaps from Jenna. Nice and spear. They turn them out. And Charmel and Jenna battling here. Almost turned into a cat fight with referee Hebner oh, 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 right in the mix. Hebner. Earl, pay attention what's going on out there. Oh, I think he's paying attention. What? Trying to pull Jenna Maraska off of Charmel. And look at that. A little bit of uh, some extensions, I think. I hope they're extensions. Oh, Charmel. Oh, you don't mess with Charmel's hair. And Jenna. Jenna looks like a bullfighter. Out the oh! Sojo goes flying off the apron, right onto Kong at ringside as Charmel came charging over to the corner. Well, this definitely gives Jenna a big advantage knowing that Sojo's out. Look at Kong relishing in this, enjoying it. Don't know how to describe that. Charmel wants it back. Oh! Wow! Kong from outside with the knockout blow potentially here. And is Jenny gonna go for the cover and the pin? Well, I think she better take advantage of it while she's got it. Here it is. You talking okay. about the pin? Someone get the video camera. Here's your winner, Jenna Maraska. Now in the battle of the main event mafia females, Jenna Maraska gets the win, and you see a little post-match party here, a little celebration with Awesome Kong. Well, she's trying to, I think, get Kong to celebrate with her, but I... I think I, she wants to get on Kong's shoulders, maybe? Is that what she's doing? Oh, here you go. She wants Kong to hold her up high. Oh, a little, little uh, float wave, little victory wave here for everybody. Tarzan, you you got a thing going on there. Jenna Maraska gets the win over Charmel. What in the world? What's going on now? I, Jenna's getting in, in Kong's face? It's maybe she wanted more. What the heck? You gotta be kidding. Jenna. Oh, come on, Jenna. You, what? I, are you nuts? Are you, are you, you out what, what of your What could she possibly be complaining mind? about? What was she complaining about? Un I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just feel a little cocky after the win, but. Oh! Wow. Jenna Maraska?